the Sahel, stretching from East to West Africa, just south of the Sahara Desert. This region has one of the most variable climates in the world. The region is often plagued by droughts and extreme weather events, which result in dying livestock, failed crops and shrinking livelihoods for farmers. Climate change may in fact increase the frequency and magnitudes of droughts and extreme weather in the region, adding to the hardships that farmers and pastoralists are already coping with. An increasingly unpredictable climate also means that farmers' traditional knowledge on how to predict changing weather patterns might no longer be adequate, and their traditional coping mechanisms may no longer be enough for survival. What these farmers now need are new tools that will help them adapt to change in their climate and environment. What they require are reliable climate forecasts that address their specific needs to adapt to a changing climate. Since 2011, an innovative project in Kafrin, in central arid Senegal, has been tackling this variation. Moreover, smallholder farmers have been involved in every step of the way. The project is led by the CGIAR Research Programme on Climate Change, Agriculture and Food Security, CCAFS, working with the Senegal National Meteorological Agency, the Ministry of Agriculture, the National Agricultural Research Institution and the International Research Institute for Climate and Society, IRI. These partners have been bringing together local extension workers, farmers' organizations, climate scientists and agronomists to deliver better seasonal climate forecasts to farmers in the region. Their goal is to package and communicate forecasts in a way that makes sense to farmers and in a way that they can actually use in their everyday life and decisions. The climate scientists listen to farmers who explain how they live and cope with climate variability currently and describe their traditional methods for predicting rainfall and other weather parameters. In turn, the climate scientists introduce the idea of probabilistic forecasting and train the farmers to interpret this kind of information for use in their farming. The scientists highlight the links between the scientific knowledge on the one hand and what farmers traditionally know on the other, and together they compare the two ways of predicting weather events to reach a consensus forecast. Our biggest challenge was how to explain the probability to farmers and also how to help them interpret the farmers into uh, action that they take. For example, how when to plant their seeds. This was our biggest challenges. The information was new to farmers, but actually farmers was very keen and enthusiastic and did show up for the first training. And after the training, they share the information and keep coming for other training as well. So farmers really uh, needed this information and we felt that we was feeling an actual gap that exists in the farmers and we keep on training them and also building trust was very important for us in order that farmers can use our information. So we build the trust by trying to connect our climate information to things that are well known to farmers, for example the indigenous knowledge. CCAFS and its many partners will continue to work in Kafrin to learn how best to package and deliver climate information that serves the interests and the needs of smallholder farmers in the region. We want to apply these approaches more widely in Senegal and through the rest of Africa, reaching more farmers. By equipping farmers with meaningful climate forecasts, they can protect their farms and their families against the consequences of severe and unpredictable weather events, now and into the future. Uh -huh.